Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at index fragmentation monitoring. We know indexes help in the fast retrieval of data from our database. And fragmentation occurs when the logical order of index pages does not match the physical order, which leads to the slow retrieval of data and increases I.O. operations. We are going to look at how we can monitor the index fragmentation. I'll be using this script, so let's select a database to work with. I'll expand my databases. I'll be working with the test database. Expand my tables. I'll be working with the dbo.financial table. Let's expand it. Let's go to data. Let's go to indexes. We have no index yet. So I'll be using this script to create a clustered index. So create a clustered index. This is the name of the index on my table, which is dbo.financial. And then the column I'll be using is the account number. I'll execute it successfully. And then let's refresh our indexes. You can see our index has been created. We have CIX1, which is our index clustered. Now, I would like to create another index, which is the non clustered index. So, to do that, I'll right click, select new index, select non clustered index, and I'll name this non clustered index CIX2. So, this is the name of my non clustered index. I'll go to add here under index key columns, and then I'll select the columns I want to work with here. The non clustered index, you can select more than one column. So I'll select these three. Let me do it four. Okay, let's click OK. And then I'll click OK. My non clustered index has been created. Now let's look at our script. Now we want to monitor these columns. Okay, we want to monitor five columns. So our schema name, the name of the table, the name of the index, and then this here will give us the fragmentation in percentage right so that the average fragmentation in percentage as our fragmentation percentage and then also our page count will also be as page count now this script here the sys.dmdb index physical starts here having our database name and our table name helps to give us the index fragmentation information. So this will help us to retrieve the index fragmentation information pointing to the database and the table. And then here we have the inner joins here. We have the inner join, that's the sys indexes. We have the inner join here, sys tables, and then the sys schema. So this is going to give us the details of our index, the table, and also our schema. Now let's run the script and see the results. I'll execute. Now you can see what we have. We have our schema name, we have our table, index name, fragmentation percentage, and we have the page count. So these are the columns that we had. Now with the schema, it tells us the table or where the table belongs. So the schema that is on the table, which is DBU, we can see it here, our, our table financial is DBU table. And then we have the table name. So the table where the index belongs, and we have the name of our index. You can see we have the clustered index and the non-clustered index. And we have our fragmentation percentage here. With the clustered index, we have zero, and the non-clustered index, we have 12.5%. So according to Microsoft recommendation, if your clustered index or your index level is less than 30%, you can reorganize. If it is more than 30%, you can rebuild. So to do that, you can, let's say we have our clustered index here, you can right click it. And if it is less than 30, you can reorganize. And if it is more than 30, you can rebuild so you can do it from here or create a maintenance plan to handle that 
and then we have the last column which is our page count the number of pages in the index larger indexes with higher page count are more likely to suffer performance degradation due to fragmentation so the higher the page count also aids in higher fragmentation now i have this filter here if i want to monitor only the clustered index so where the table name is financial index type is clustered and then the name of the index which is this so if i want to monitor only the clustered index i don't want to monitor all the indexes just one index so i right click and then i'll be able to see it here if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions or suggestions you can put them in the comment section i'll be glad to read them see you in the next one